I spent a lot of time putting this together um, because I started to think about what are the important things that happen in clients' lives where they end up calling you? Or for the less savvy clients, what happens when you notice something in the year-end job and you need to call them? Now, what's different between doing this? I bet you're doing this in all or in part or when you're actually reflecting on, yeah, I probably am doing it. What's the difference between this, the old way, and the new way that Scott and I are about to show you? The old way is that I think a lot of this happens in the year-end meeting. Yeah, you talk to the client during the year, but that year-end meeting where you're discussing tax returns and how the year was, that's really where a lot of these conversations are embryonic or they, they start to get a lot more depth because you've got time to talk to the client. You usually have a quick update. It's very hard to charge for. Clients just expect this as part of client service. I said customers, I meant clients. It's very hard to document outcomes. I mean, so many accountants go and have these meetings, identify all this work that needs to be done, and it just doesn't get done because you don't have time to write it down. The client doesn't, they're not fully engaged yet. They've spoken to you about it, but they don't know that they really want it yet. The new way, the smarter way to do it is to standardise the price and service for the year-end meeting. Let clients know that they're going to be booked in for a time that they're going to come and have this meeting with you. You get to control your time and you get to move the conversation into high value, high priced advisory work. 